Hey yo, Antonio. In this video, we'll be comparing astigmatism and myopia. As a quick reminder, astigmatism can be seen as an irregularity in the cornea. The uneven curvatures of the cornea do not allow for a distinct focal point and therefore make it extremely difficult to read text. Myopia, on the other hand, can be seen as an overgrowth of the eyeball leading to the retina being out of position for the light to produce a clear image in the distance. It is entirely possible for these two phenomena to coexist, but for the purpose of this video, I will show them to you separately. First, we'll have a look at a vision chart that you may see in an optometry clinic. It is placed 20 feet or 6 meters from where I'm filming this. The top row is the size you must read in order to gain your driver's license, whether it be with or without glasses. I covered this topic in my previous video, so I would encourage you to watch that for a greater perspective. Because I know a lot of you are watching this from your mobile phone, I'm going to zoom in here to really show you the difference. The key difference here is that having one diopter of myopia produces more blur than having one diopter of astigmatism. There is a reason for this, which I won't get into here, but generally the amount of blur that one diopter of myopia produces is about the same as what two diopters of astigmatism would induce. Speaking of two diopters, this is when things really start to break down. Even when zoomed all the way in, it is really difficult to read. Astigmatism, on the other hand, manages to maintain some of its legibility, but give off a smeared appearance. Moving on to three diopters. At a distance, everything is blurry, and the letters look like what a lot of people describe as blobs. Astigmatism also starts to break down, making it extremely difficult to read the chart. The next example I have for you is at a petrol station. It is night time and this is perfect, because the effects of astigmatism and nearsightedness are more noticeable in the dark. This is because with the absence of sunlight, our pupils dilate, manifesting more of the blur that each refractive error induces. And it also decreases our depth of focus, making it difficult to keep multiple distances clear at the same time. As we go through the increasing severities of myopia, I want you to pay attention to not only the petrol prices, but also to the street lights on the left. You'll notice them getting bigger and bigger as we go up in numbers. The prices themselves are really difficult to read, making you almost want to squint in order to make it clearer. You'll often find that astigmats are prone to making mistakes when it comes to dealing with letters and numbers. The eights in this example blend in, making them seem like sixes or nines. I personally learn a lot from watching these videos because it helps me better understand what other people experience, and I wish the same goes for you. Feel free to press a like on this video so that it can help more people understand this and remember to subscribe so that you do not miss out on future videos like this. Moving on to two diopters. At two diopters of myopia, reading this from a distance is impossible. And just for a bit of context, remember that myopic individuals suffer no blur at close distances. At two diopters of myopia, as long as the object is within 50 centimeters, then it should be clear. Astigmatism, on the other hand, shares no such benefit and will unfortunately suffer blur at all distances.
The next example I have for you is very special. It may not seem special, but it is. Myopes and astigmats experience different perceptions when it comes to telling the time on a clock. With myopia, the entire clock is blurry, but if it were any closer, then it should be very clear. When you introduce one diopter of with the rule astigmatism, pay attention to the lines at 12 and 6 o'clock. They appear to be much bolder than the rest. Against the rule astigmatism on the other hand would show the opposite, where 3 and 9 o'clock are the most vivid. At two diopters of myopia, the clock is almost gone. But the alternative for myopes, however, is to read the time on a watch, as it should be much clearer. At two diopters of astigmatism, the distinction is a lot more apparent. With the rule astigmatism stretches the image up and down, making the vertical lines the clearest and against the rule astigmatism stretches the image sideways, making the horizontal lines the clearest. We go back outside and it seems that we have a full moon. I'm currently filming this with my smartphone, which is why the image quality is not the best, but it shouldn't stop us from comparing the differences. At one diopter of myopia, the details on the moon are lost and the edges become fuzzy. When it comes to astigmatism, the moon becomes stretched, making it seem more like an oval. At two diopters, the moon is unrecognisable and it is completely blurry. And with two diopters of astigmatism, the stretching becomes a lot more obvious. Hopefully the examples that I've shown you today have given you a better insight on how myopes and astigmats, like myself, view the world. If you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then they'll be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.